what's up guys happy new year i know it's like almost mid-january but i'm gonna catch you guys up so i just went skiing by the way well attempted to go skiing it's not my thing it's it's for them i'll leave it for them it was so cold it was just too cold for, uh, let me start off the vlog properly hi guys welcome to another vlog if you made it into the new year i'm so happy to see you here and if you didn't and if you lost a loved one i am so sorry to hear thank you guys for joining me for another year on my journey as you guys know i did vlogmas that was good personally like that was a challenge for me and i'm glad that i took it on as i've already stated in my other vlogs and i'm actually very proud of myself so i just don't feel like the views matched up to the work that i had put in but that's normal it's normal for you to not feel like your efforts were noticed yeah it, that, that's what normal happens people never ever feel like even at nine to fives it, it just always happens you never feel like you're getting paid what you should be getting paid and because i knew what i went through to do vlogmas the views were kind of like disappointing but i'm still glad i did it and it's my first time doing it i don't know if i gained any subscribers from vlogmas if yes hi i'm so happy that you're here it's a new year and it's mid january and i know i said i was going to do more videos but let me just tell you guys what happened so coming into the new year right i was just so pumped like after christmas like i was just so pumped and everything and i, did, I wasn't even going to come on camera today i was just going to do an unboxing and whatever but when i put makeup on my lip i realized that okay it's not that bad i don't even know if you can pick it up but yeah i have a night fever i had the flu and i'm i strongly believe that it was covid because let me tell you up to now i'm still fighting the cold in my chest and just being congested overall winter is just not my season <laughs> i swear it was covid if it wasn't covid there is something out there that's worse than covid and i've seen it a lot of people i'm seeing a lot of people on social media getting sick and i'm just realizing that there is like this really bad flu that's going around that most people are catching and i never normally catch those things but here we are so <laughs> yeah i got sick i think it was last week it was like the first day of the year if it's not the first day of the year it was like the second day of the year when was last week today is what day today is the 10th so that's sounding like the third day of the year so i got sick on the third day of the year and i was already sick from december as you guys would have known as you guys would have seen in my vlogs if you're keeping up but it was it i was like i was getting better so i got better and everything i was back to normal i was just congested which is just regular winter congestion but anyway this day i woke up and i went and i did a facial and i, I planned to come home because remember i told you guys that i'm taking skincare very seriously this year i want my skin to give glass just spotless just i'm going to pour into my skin this year i'm, I'm doing my skincare ut routine i'm doing my skincare ut routine again i'm doing my skincare routine i'm on top of things i have a morning routine and i have a night routine and i'm just not picking my face and i'm just really working hard to clear up my skin and i'm just happy to say that i'm already seeing results so i did a facial like the first day of the year if you follow me on instagram you would have seen that i was like posting stories and just posting about it so yeah i did that facial and i don't know in the facial i was extremely congested i feel like remember i had the flu in december so the flu was dying down but then i realized that it started like coming on hard again like i got congested like really congested i started getting really congested again but i wasn't feeling like any body pains or anything so i was feeling really congested the morning that i woke up to do my facial i'm talking about like you can only breathe from one nostril and you can barely breathe from the other so you're breathing from your mouth that's how i was feeling when i was sleeping but i was still going to do my facial i was like okay i'm congested but it's winter so what's new i think it was just a cold day and i'm just under the weather anyway i'm on the facial table the ladies do my facial i'm sneezing like crazy and she's like oh my god do you need a napkin like are you okay and i'm like i'm fine i swear i've been going through this i'm just congested that's what i was telling her because i thought that it was just regular congestion so i'm doing my facial i'm just sneezing 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 like non-stop and like to the point where i couldn't even breathe from my nose i had to be breathing from my mouth and i'm doing a facial so just imagine that i'm on the table laying down and my mouth is like 
so she's doing the fish and she, she's she's realizing that my mouth is open that's why she keeps asking me like are you fine but i just couldn't breathe and i just wanted to get over with it i didn't want to be a bother and i was just wanting to get over with it so she kept asking me if i was fine and i was like yeah because i just wanted to be done and just go home anyway finished my facial and then when i was coming home for my facial i was just oh my god my nail is lifting right here and it's just the most painful thing ever yeah so i finished my facial and came home and i was just like feeling so bad i remember driving home and i was like oh my god literally my facial is like one minute away from home i was driving home and i was just like oh my god i just, just can't even really bother to drive home right now like god just please why am i just so exhausted i don't know if you guys remember when i was saying that for vlogmas i was like barely sleeping i was sleeping for like three hours at night i don't know if that contributed to me catching the flu you know like my immune system was just weak and i was just tired and just not getting enough rest i don't know but i have realized that once i haven't gotten enough rest if i don't have a terrible migraine i'm just i catch the flu because i don't normally get sick i'm not a sickly person like i've never been this sickly person so that's the only thing that i can say that's been different like i just haven't been resting a lot i've been working more than the usual so anyway i reached home and i just showered like really quickly and i just jumped in bed like immediately and this was like 1 p.m just showered and i jumped in bed and i was just i was just like you know what i just don't feel good i was even supposed to go skiing from that week and i was just like i just can't do it i just don't feel good i'm just gonna lay down still not thinking that i have the flu i'm just gonna lay down and just because i'm not feeling well i'm just so congested and it doesn't make any sense i go back outside in the cold to ski if i'm not feeling good i'm just going to get worse i was in bed laying down and i was just getting worse and i didn't have any pills with me didn't have any like cold and flu no nothing because i thought that i just don't have the flu anymore and my pills that were finished from in december so not several minutes so i was just in the bed and i was just feeling worse and worse and i wasn't doing anything but laying down i wasn't even watching tv i wasn't on my phone i was just in the bed and i just fell asleep and then i just woke up and i was just shivering and i was just so cold and i was like oh my god i don't feel good i feel like i have the flu when i woke up like three minutes after three three hours after like napping really quickly my body was just shaking and i was just so cold i mean it's winter but normally i can be in the house without the ac or the heater because it's winter so you know we're naturally cold from the outside temperature but i was just really freezing not naturally cold like the inside temperature is good you don't need heater or you don't need ac if it's not too cold and it wasn't too cold but i was freezing and normally i'm hot because i doubled up my duvet on my bed and normally i'm in the bed like boiling i was actually really cold like my hands were freezing my hands were so cold and i was like oh my god i don't feel good the next day that i woke up oh my god pain literally all over my body i was like what the hell like i literally have the flu because it's one thing to be congested and be freezing you know you probably have a fresh cold but one another thing that happened at night I, I actually had a fever as well so from the night was ending i realized that you know what probably i'm really catching the flu again just my luck so i was like oh my god like i just can't do this like i'm catching the flu and i didn't have any pills i didn't want to go out on the road i didn't want anybody to go out on the road for me because this was like 12 a.m and i was just like i'm just gonna sleep it off I tried sleeping it off and i woke up the next day like literally shivering like peeing up like i wanted to go to the bathroom like i could not i was barely walking i was like this is how i was walking and my back so much pain my belly my front like every single weird pain headache fever literally every single thing i was like okay i have the flu so i couldn't do what i was supposed to do that day i had to be in bed for the entire day i ordered pills and every pills and all those things on um instacart because nobody was here with me i was home alone and i ordered all my pills i ordered some ginger shots i ordered um vitamin c just literally every single thing and i just stayed in bed and i slept and then when i took when those came and i took them and i slept a little bit i started feeling a little bit better i started drinking a lot of water then i woke up and i managed to take a shower and then i just started feeling a little just a little bit better it was still horrible like this took me like days but the first immediate day was the worst which you know so then 
about like four days after that I st and i just was so disappointed because i wanted to go to the gym like every time i'm sick it just irks me that i cannot go to the gym because i would push to go to the gym with a cold but with a flu it's like you just have no energy you have no strength and for me i'm lifting weights like it just makes no sense you're congested you're breezy you're congested you have a fever i probably had covid i just didn't do a test why would i go to the gym to risk everybody's like safety or anything so i was just staying home and just yeah so immediately after that no after i finally started feeling a little bit better i'm still not fully because as i said if i cough right now you can hear the cold on my chest so i don't know what kind of flu this is but it's just like really serious like i'm telling you i felt like i was it was over for me like it was so bad after like days like probably like five days i finally started to feel like myself again and i was like okay let me go to the gym tonight starting over but this is basically starting fresh for the new year because i got sick as soon as the new year came in then my cycle started i was like okay bye and i got a night fever and then i was like what the hell is going on like i was just getting so sick over and over but anyway that's the story that's why i was basically out for the first week and that was just such a bad start to the year but i'm not going to overthink it i'm just pushing forward as usual so i hope that you guys are doing better than me i hope that you guys are you know staying safe taking your vitamins my mom would be like make sure you're taking your vitamins make sure you're on the ball like you can't drop any ball especially in winter if and you're worse you're not used to this temperature so you have to be on it staying hydrated taking your vitamins taking your vitamin c I don't miss a vitamin because I don't want to get sick one more time for this winter period. That's insane. I'm not used to this life. I'm not a sickly person. So there is no way I should be getting sick for the third time for this winter season. So anyway, that was a lot of chatter. <laughs> but this was the first that i went out today since the new year started and we were supposed to go skiing but pulled up i was like what the hell is this <laughs> i was like no there's no way i'm doing this first of all it was freezing cold it was like 28 degrees i was like hell nah finally went inside no one realized that they're skiing outside which of course it's skiing so where else are they gonna do it it was cold as a hail. We had our friend Mert with us. If you if you watched the Christmas video, you would remember Mert. So he was king. He's like a pro. He has all his gears. He bought his gears from Amazon and everything. So he's like, yeah, he's ready. And he's, he's the one that called us to do it. So we were like, okay, let's go. Pulled up. I was like, oh, no, this is, I'm okay with not doing this. <laughs> It was fun to see though, fun to witness and everything, but it was just too cold. Like, I'm just not made for this cold. But we just went skiing and we grabbed some food. But I went on the road to grab some things today, which is also like my first time just being on the road, on the road, like grabbing things, like shopping, like, you know, like, yeah. So, Bath and Rex is having their semi annual sale. Most of these, no, actually, some of these were not discounted. But I'm an avid Bath and Body Rex shopper, candle. Not really perfumes and lotions, just rare occasions for perfumes and lotions, but candles and the things, the, what do you call these? The wallflower fragrances. They will get me every time. So I'm just going to do a quick little bath and body works haul. If you follow me on TikTok, you would have probably already seen it because I'm going to post it right now. And this video is not going to go up right now because I don't have enough things to put in it. So... I'm just gonna show you guys what I got from Bath and Body Works today, and I ordered some things from Amazon, and I'm gonna show you guys that too. Also, if you guys remember, I told you guys that I bought myself a Christmas gift. I had to return it. It was supposed to be a Steve Madden sneakers. It was way too like the material is just too hard. It wasn't comfortable. It was actually too small, and I got it in my regular size. Don't know what's happening with that. Coming sure my foot now go. <laughs> But I had to return it, so I was like, oh my god, what am I going to get for myself? I deserve something. I deserve something. So I actually ordered a vanity. Jewelry, my friend Jewelry, she convinced me. And I was like, you know what, I should get a vanity. I mean, she's been trying to convince me. And I was like, I don't really need a vanity. I do my makeup in the bathroom, and it's fine. But then I started thinking about everything, and I was like, okay, it's actually best I get a vanity. Because when I'm doing my makeup in the bathroom, I have to grab a chair. Like when I'm seriously doing my makeup, I have to grab a chair from somewhere in the living room and put it in the bathroom. And the space is just small with the chair, the counter, and the 
bathroom door right behind me and it's just and sometimes the chair is too short and the bathroom sink is like up here and it's just like yeah I needed to get a vanity and I'm gonna put it in my room so that's what I ordered for my Christmas gift just a makeup vanity so I, I even have some extra jars in my room and I can finally have a space with good lighting where I can do my makeup because the yellow light in the bathroom for my makeup just it's just a no no like if you can get a vanity get a vanity I haven't even received it yet and I'm talking all that smack I hope that I love it so it's coming it should be delivered tomorrow but I'm not gonna set it up until probably the next week and I'm actually gonna call somebody to come and set it up because nobody has time to be setting up anything for eight hours hell no so that's what I got myself so I also bought some things from Amazon that I'm gonna show you right now so yeah let's get into what I got from Bath and Body Works because why am I talking so much all right let's start off with these Oh my gosh, you if you watch me, you know that Mahogany Vanilla is becoming my favorite Bath & Body Works scent. It was first my favorite candle scent, but I didn't know that they have it in different things because I've never seen it before. So I got this room spray in Mahogany Vanilla. Oh my god, it smells so good, guys. It's too good. Like, this is like my candle times five. And it's a room spray, so I spray it in your room, your bathroom, or whatever. I'm gonna put this in the bathroom actually, and it just smells like mahogany vanilla. So I got two of them. I was like, oh my god, I didn't know that they have mahogany vanilla in other stuff. Yes. And then I got some refill fragrances. Yes, you guessed it right. Mahogany vanilla. I got like, and I'm not exaggerating, I probably got like six. 10 mahogany vanilla i was i was losing my mind i was like there is no way they have this in mahogany vanilla i've probably said that like 500 times but mahogany vanilla it's my scent so this is the candle that i'm always turning on with the candle warmer or i'm always lighting before i had the candle warmer in my room i will go through these candles so quickly but the candle warmer makes the candles last so long thank you jody <laughs> I didn't know I probably won't need a candle for like six more months because the candle warmer makes my candles last so long so now my room can smell even more like mahogany vanilla because I have it in the candle and I have it in the wallflower fragrance so I also got dahlia which is a good scent if you know I like vanilla scents you'll know from everything that's on my back and body works so yeah more mahogany vanilla this one is Dahlia again. I'm just switching in between Mahogany Vanilla and Dahlia. Dahlia. This one is Lavender and Linen, which I've tried before. I've put this one in the bathroom before. So these I took these ones up before the Mahogany Vanilla. Once I saw the Mahogany Vanilla, I was like, okay, this is it. I don't need anything else. But then I reached the cash register and I was like, okay, just give me everything. <laughs> this one is Sandalwood Vanilla. <clears throat> I'm excited. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm excited to smell this one because sandalwood, I'm be beginning to like that because I tried that in the essential oil for the bathroom in a diffuser. Chef kiss, it smells so good and just fresh. So sandalwood vanilla, I think it's going to be a good one. We have more dahlia. I'm just organizing them as I'm right here. I'm going to pack them all in the bathroom immediately after showing you guys. More mahogany vanilla. This is more linen and lavender. And I have two, three more. Mahogany vanilla, you guessed it. Mahogany vanilla and this one which is Woodlands. So this one says it smells like, where was it? Like some of them tell you what it smells like. And normally once it says, oh, oh this has nothing that I like. <laughs> but I don't know where this one came from but this one is Woodlands Vanilla so in total I have one two three four five five mahogany vanilla I'm gonna actually plug them in right now in the house all over and we have four dahlias which is a vanilla scent as well I think we have three linen and lavender and then we have one woodlands this one just creeps in here and then we have the mahogany vanilla <laughs> room sprays so this was a purchase for the house and then guys my battery is low 
I'll change that soon. Because I'm such an avid bath and body work. Let me just change my battery. All right, and then guys, because I'm such an avid bath and body work shopper, I pull up to the register and she was like, um, you have five rewards that are going to expire soon. And I was like, well, what rewards? <sighs> Tell me more. <laughs> and she was like, yeah, you can pick anything that's valued like 16, 95 and under. You can pick that five times. And I was like, let me get that right now. Cause I know that if I leave Bath and Body Works right now, I won't remember that I have these rewards and they're going to expire. And I deserve these things. So <laughs> I was like, okay. So yes, yeah, so this is the In The Stars, which is another good scent. And it is a, uh, moisturizing body wash and if you know you know bath and body works body wash hmm. Hmm. let me tell you about it <laughs> and then i got another body wash because i was like i wanted to get something that i don't normally buy that isn't normally on sale and i already bought so many um wall fragrances i already bought so many lotions and sprays are always on sale so i was like let me get something that i wouldn't normally buy from bath and body works hence the body wash oh this is a hydration cream for men so this is a men's scent they have a men's line this is an into the night moisturizing body wash for me and then this is a body spray, which I didn't know that Bath and Body Works had these for men. So it's after dark. This, these two come together. And then the last thing that I got was this gentle foaming hand soap refill. So I buy, I normally buy my hand soaps for the bathroom from Bath and Body Works. And I have to buy the foaming one because my hand soap dispenser in the bathroom it uses only foaming hand washes so i always buy like the small i'm sure you've seen like the small bath and bath <laughs> bath <laughs> the small bath and body works hand washes tell me why this holds three times what's normally in the hand wash the small hand wash thingy that the regular hand wash is coming and this is a box that holds three times it and this was like I, I think it was a little bit on a little bit under it times two so me buying literally yesterday i bought like four hand washes because my hand wash for my hand wash dispenser in the bathroom was finished i didn't know that i could buy these boxes which is like four times what's in those little ones and it's cheaper I was like give me this because i guess people wouldn't normally buy this because it's a box and it's not a cute display so if you're actually using the thing that it comes out of if you're using the bottle that the hand wash comes out of if you put that in your bathroom of course you wouldn't buy this because how this is not practical for somebody to use as a hand wash even though it's cheaper but because i have the dispenser this is best for me so i was like give me the warm sugar vanilla please and thank you and this is what i will always be buying because i have the dispenser so yeah that's what i got from bath and body girl and i also got a little a few things from amazon which i'm just gonna go through quickly because you know i like showing you guys what i want so that's it for bath and body so now we are on to amazon <laughs> and if you need anything i can link it below actually i'm gonna link all the amazon things below because i know people will want it and won't ask so it will be in the description box if you want it also if you follow me on tiktok you've already seen this because i've just made a tiktok on actually unboxing them so this is now becoming my favorite essential oil sandal wood and i didn't even know it existed i was literally googling what's the best essential oil because i realized that i don't like how essential oils smell like why is essential oil a thing that people put in diffuser they don't smell good like they just have this herbal scent you know like herbal things like it just doesn't smell like something that smells nice it just smells like i don't know to me i don't maybe i haven't found my essential oil but i found it now <laughs> but personally from the essential oils that i've smelled before it's not a scent that i would want to be circulating in my home like no so 
I was googling one day and I was like I need to find either essential oil or a perfume oil that can just make the house just smell so refreshing and just nice and just everything and I found sandalwood and I was like let me give it a try and I ordered a tiny one which was a different brand from Amazon before and I loved it it just finished so I was like let me order a bigger bottle and it comes with the thing like this for you just to drip it in the diffuser i have a diffuser in the bathroom so what i normally do is just fill the diffuser with water put like five drops of this in it leave it on and let me tell you it seeps into the living room it just smells so good i'm sure if i had a bigger diffuser it would smell in the entire space right here but because the diffuser is like a small one it's not tiny but i can show you guys it it's really smells so good in the bathroom like when you when you go in the bathroom it just smells so nice it doesn't smell like a bathroom like it, it smells like a space that you want to stay in so sandal with essential oil i got that and i don't know i'm always looking for things for the bathroom i need the bathroom to smell good the bathroom needs to smell like a room it doesn't need to smell like a bathroom so i got these febreze whoa did i break it I got these Febreze small spaces and listen I'm just always googling things and looking on clean TikTok to see what the clean girlies are using because I need that cleanliness in my home. Did I break it? I don't know. So I bought four of these they came in a package and apparently this is i've never used it before this is a febreze small spaces and you put it in a small space as the name suggests you push this little button right here with a finger and it's just going to gradually what's that word i learned it in physics you know when the scent moves through the air i don't know diffuse i hope i'm right diffusion it's just going to gradually just smell up the entire ear but i already have the diffuser in the bathroom so buying this is like why would i buy this but i want to try everything i want to try it so if it's good i'm gonna put one in my closet and you know small spaces so i also got this straw looking thing because my theme in the bathroom is like straw themed so i'm gonna put this on the counter to put other things in and as i told you guys i bought a vanity so i'm trying to organize my life so finally i have somewhere to put my jewelry right now my jewelry is just in a tiny bag in another bag in the closet so now with my vanity when it gets here i can finally have somewhere to organize my jewelry so these are actually bigger than i thought so i bought these jewelry organizers and these are going to be going in my vanity and they are huge so these i'm thinking to put earrings or hoop earrings in these spaces you know i guess rings can go here not sure what i'm gonna put there and yeah so jewelry organizers so that's all that i have been shopping so far and as i said if you guys want i can just give you guys the links to everything and i will check you guys when i'm doing something interesting okay because i'm not sick anymore we ready we're finally ready for 2024 let's go today i woke up listen i've been cleaning from yesterday okay <laughs> I've been cleaning from yesterday and I woke up this morning and I washed my hair and I changed from the bob wig to this long feet part wig and I'm just feeling just clean and I just love when the space is just clean and I'm just ready to go ready to film ready to do everything so I will see you guys soon Thank you.